Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will learn how we can insert different options in a product. I will use as an example the custom t-shirt we have available in the live demo of our plugin GIF, WooCommerce, Product Patterns and Extra Options. For this t-shirt we will add options to allow the users to customize it. For example, select the color, the size, upload an image or a logo. But before we start configuring these options, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Here we are inside the demo I used for the product add-ons videos. Over here we can see this product, a simple t-shirt. And what I want to show you today is how we can add different options to allow the users to customize it. For example, select the color, the size, among other options. So to begin, let's go over to our dashboard. From here, we will find GIF and click on product add-ons. Now, what we have to do is add a new block. For that, we go over here and click add block. And the first step is to enter the block name. In this case, I will call it simply t-shirt. OK, and now we're ready to start adding the options. For that, we go over here and click Add Options. For our first option, I want to select this one, Label or Image. First, I will enter the title. This information will actually help the user identify this option. For that, I want to enter here this, Choose Image. And now I move on so we can start adding the options. In this case, I don't want to add a label, nor a description or a tooltip. The only thing that I want to include here is an image. So I go over here and I enable this option. Now we go over here and I will click Upload and it will open our media library. As you can see, I have already inserted the two images that I need for this option. But if you haven't yet, all we need to do is go over to Upload Files and from here, you can click here, select files, or drag and drop your files right here. Now let's go back to our media and I will select the first option. And I click here, choose image. Perfect. Now I will continue and I will do the same for our second option. So I click add a new option. And this time I will go directly to add image. I enable it. We go over to Upload. Now I select the second image and again I click here, Choose Image. Perfect. Now all we need to do is Save. Now before we can go to the demo to have a look, first we need to associate our options with the product. For that we have to go over to Rules and from here show this block of options in I'm going to change from all products to specific products and categories. Next, from this field, products to include, we will search for our product, in this case, custom t-shirt. It is this one, so I add it, and these two other options will remain the same. Now I save, and once again, we need to save here our block. Perfect, now let's go back and have a look. And here we have it. Over here, we can see the first option we created. We have our blue t-shirt and our white t-shirt. However, if we notice, nothing happens when I select the blue t-shirt. I mean, this main product image doesn't change. And I actually want it to change depending on the option that I select right here. So in order to achieve this, we need to go back to our block of options here, we need to go inside our option, so I click here, and this time let's go over to the Display Settings tab. In here, I want to focus on this option, Product Image Replacing Options. Right now, it says don't replace the image, but we do want to replace it, so I will open here and I will select this option, Replace with Options Images. What this means is that the main image will change depending on the option that is selected. Now I will save and let's go back to see the result. I will refresh 
And now let's try it out. If I select this one, of course, we're not going to see a difference because it is the same one. But if I select the blue option, this time we're able to see how the main product image has in fact changed. Now let's continue with our next option. For that, let's go back to our block of options. And here, let's go one more time to add options. I will click here. And again, I want to select label or image. For the title, I will enter choose size. And we can start configuring our options. In this case, I only want to enter a label. I will begin with the first size, S, and everything else will remain the same. However, it is up to you to decide if you would like to add any additional information, for example, as a tooltip or as a description. To show you an example, only for this option, I will also enter a tooltip. Here, I will enter small. This information will only appear if the user hovers over this option. So we will see that in just one moment. Now, like I mentioned, everything else will remain the same. So let's continue creating all the other options. For that, we go here and click add a new option. Okay, now we have created all of our options. But before we save, I want to show you something else. If we go over here to display settings and now over to options layout, from here, options per row, we will be able to enter how many options we want to display for each row. In this example, we have entered five different sizes and I do want to show them all in the same row. So this will be possible because here we have set it to five. But again, it is up to you to decide how you would like to display your options. Now we can save and let's go back to have a look. And now I will refresh. And here we can see the option we created. Choose size and all of the sizes we entered. Now, if we hover over this option, we can see the tooltip information. Right here, we can read small. Now guys, let's continue adding options. For that, let's go back to our block. Again, we go over here and we click Add Options. This time, I want to select this one, File, Upload, and I will begin with the title. Here, I will enter Upload Your Logo, and now we can start configuring. I will begin with a label. So here I will enter Upload Logo. Now I will leave tooltip empty, but I do want to include a description. In this case, I will enter Upload your logo to customize this t-shirt. Next, I don't want to add an image, but I do want to change the price. For this option, I want to add an extra charge of $10. For that, I will go here and select the second option, increase the main product price. Now here in option cost, I will enter $10 as a fixed amount. However, you will also have the option to set it as a percentage. But for the moment, let's leave it at fixed amount. Now, before we save, let's go to display settings. Again, I want to go to Options Layout, and in this case, I will change the options per row from 5 to 1. And I also want to enable the use of a grid layout. So we click here, and next, from Options Width, I will change it from 100 to 50%. Don't worry, we will see the result in just one moment. All we need to do now is save, and now we can go have a look. Again, I will refresh the page. And here we can see our new option. We have here the title, upload your logo. This will be the label, upload logo. And down here we have the description, upload your logo to customize this t-shirt. Also, we can see over here the information regarding the extra charge of $10 for this option. And finally, from this field, you will be able to either click here to upload the file or drag and drop it. Now, let's go one more time to our block of options to add the final option to our product. 
One more time, we will go over here and click Add Options. Now I want to select a text area, so I will click here. We go over to Title and I will enter Custom Text. Now we can go ahead and move over to our label. Here, I'll say Enter here Custom Text. And now I don't want to include a tooltip, but I do want to add a description. So here we'll have, here enter a small sentence to show under the logo, maximum 20 characters. And let's pay attention to this because we will configure this in just one moment. First, I want to focus on the price. For this option, I also want to charge an additional. So I will go here and select the second option, increase the main product price. For this option, I will set a cost of $5 again as a fixed amount. Now we will go here, limit input characters. I will enable it because like we saw in the description, I want to set a maximum of 20 characters for this option. Now, before we save, same as we did with the upload your logo option, let's go to display settings. From here, we want to go to options layout and same as we did before, we will change the options per row from 5 to 1 and I will enable the use of a grid layout and we will change the percentage of the width from 100 to 50%. Perfect, now we can save and let's go back to the demo. We are back in our product page, so one more time I will refresh and right here we have the final result of our text area to allow the users to enter a custom text to go in the t-shirt. Let's try it out. I will enter this message, no pain, no gain. And I am able to do it because it has less than 20 characters, which is the limit we have configured. Now, if I wanted to add anything else, let's say for example, keep pushing, as you can see, after this point, I am not able to enter anything else. I will erase this, and now I can, for example, select a size and also a color. In this case, I am ready to add to cart. So let's do that to have a look. I will click here, and now let's go to view cart. Over here, we have all of the details of our order. We can see the size, the custom text, and the information regarding the extra price for this option. Also, we have here the image indicating the color. And this is how we have configured our product with different options to allow the users to customize it, thanks to our plugin GIF, WooCommerce, product patterns, and extra options. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.